Okay. Right click, select data, add series name, maybe NP versus Q. Series X is the flow rate. And then series Y is NP. Click OK. Now you see I get linear trend, normal scale. Okay. And so I will just this one, click this one, and then plus I want to name the axis. This one is NP in MBO. And the horizontal axis is flow rate Q barrel oil per day. So it's my unit and I will color them black. I like black and I will make them bold. This one, bigger size 12, bold 12. So you see I have linear trend, normal scale, both for my horizontal and vertical axis. So you see we have exponential decline here. Okay, exponential decline. And yeah, you can also check, for example, we make another plot. I will set aside this one first. Okay, and let's make another plot. Now let's check formula, this one, flow rate on horizontal axis, but in logarithmic scale versus this one time, but in normal scale. Actually using this formula, it should be in logarithmic natural, but actually logarithmic natural or logarithmic in terms of scale on the plot, it's the same approach. So let's just right click, select data, add, now it's Q versus time, okay. Series X is the time, this one. And the Y axis is flow rate, it's like this. Now you see this is the original trend if I use normal skills. I will name the axis. It's Q, BOPD, okay, and then it's now time, but now it's in month. All right, I prefer black. I will make them bolder, bold and bigger. Yeah, we will have the same video, but with harmonic and hyperbolic cases. Okay, so this is our original or original plot. I will just copy this one. Okay, and I will move the original plot to the right side. And then let's just use this one. But let's change the horizontal or I mean the vertical axis right click format axis now the this one logarithmic scale if it is decline exponential decline we will have linear trend if i turn it into logarithmic scale so let's just try it close you see we get linear trend it's linear so by turning the vertical axis into logarithmic scale I get linear trend. So it's proven. So it's exponential decline that we have for our case right now. Okay, so that's quite clear. So we have exponential DCA case right now. And so let's let's continue with finding the B ARPS exponent and the initial decline rate. Okay, 